Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and today we're going to take a look at the all new 4th generation iPod Shuffle from Apple. It's September 7th and they are just arriving in customers hands today. So as you can see I chose UPS Next Day Air to get this to me as quickly as possible. See it came in a fairly large box although the uh, iPod itself is very small. So let's take a look to see what's in here. So there's the uh, shuffle itself with some of my personal information so I'm just going to Cut this out of here. There you go. So here's the iPod Shuffle 4th Gen's packaging. As we can see, it's very small. So let's just peel off this wrapper. iPod Shuffle, 2 gigabyte. It's now available only as a 2 gigabyte model. It's no longer available in a 4 gig version. So we have some of the model information down here. And of course, just the Apple logo on top. And I can see right here a little arrow indicating to me that there's a little wrapper here to pull off. It should just pop off. So we can see that the shuffle sitting on the top and we can just pull that out. And it's on this little plate. I'm going to set that aside. We're going to see what else is in the box first. Designed by Apple in California. So we got a little instruction booklet here with a little tab to pull out. Let's see what's in here. Start here. So we got the voice over button. And we got some other tips in here. Looks like we have some other regulatory information. And we have a really tiny Apple sticker. And it looks like we have a set of Apple earphones. And noticeably absent this time is the remote control. The third generation iPod Shuffle had a remote control because that was the only way to control it. There were no buttons on the Shuffle itself. So with no need for that, I guess Apple saw no need to include the uh, earbuds with the remote control. And we do have the sync cable. As many of you may be aware, the iPod Shuffle syncs through the headphone jack. So you just connect this to the headphone port on the Shuffle and connect this to a USB port on your computer. Now to get the Shuffle off this plate, there's a little tab back here that we have to pull. And now it should just slide out. Now we can see that the new Shuffle is actually a unibody design. It's one piece of aluminum that has been carved out to accept the internal electronics. Now on the front we have the familiar directional keypad. This is very similar to the second generation shuffle. So it's not a click wheel. You don't scroll your finger around to change tracks. You just uh, press forward or back, volume up, volume down, play and pause. On the top we can see the headphone jack with the little indicator light. We also have the voice over button right here that the instructions talked about. We also have the switch here. Now if we look very closely at the three position switch on the iPod shuffle, there's actually some text and symbols. We can see that in the far left position, the iPod Shuffle is off. In the middle position, the iPod is in continuous play. And in the far right position, the iPod is in shuffle mode. And of course, we can see the symbol for the voice command feature. And we can see a little indicator light next to the headphone jack. So if we turn this on, we should see it light. On the back is the clip. So we can see the clip here. It's held in with a pin. On the inside, you can actually see some of the FCC regulatory information. This is available in a multitude of colors, but only the silver model here actually has this black click wheel. All the other colors feature a white click wheel. Now, this is also the first iPod Shuffle to have this polished aluminum finish, just like the 5th generation and 6th generation iPod Nano. Now, if we compare the shuffles from generation to generation, of course, we see that the oldest one is also the largest one. The first generation shuffle came out in 2005, and a year later, the second generation shuffle here came out in 2006 and lasted for about three years until 2009 when the third generation shuffle came along. The third generation iPod shuffle also had a stainless steel edition. The first generation iPod shuffle was unique because it charged via a USB port on the device itself, so all you had to do was plug this into a USB. You could also swap this out for a lanyard, so if you want to hang this around your neck, you could. Now, the second generation iPod Shuffle is actually very similar in design to the fourth generation iPod Shuffle, so many consider this to be a very successful design. So here we have an extruded aluminum design with many of the controls we're familiar with. Shuffle, continuous play, on and off, and of course this clip. 
course we have this controller on the front and the headphone jack on the top. Now the second generation iPod Shuffle also came with a dock. So this docked like this to sync. By the time the third generation iPod Shuffle came, it had lost its physical controls on the device itself, so there was only a switch. But just like the current generation iPod Shuffle, it was an all aluminum unibody designed with a stainless steel clip, which was uh, very susceptible to scratching. And in order to control this, Apple included a set of earbuds with a remote control. Of course, the fourth generation obviously resembles the second generation, although it has shrunk in size. We can see that they are thinner. Uh, it's not as wide, but this is square and has a larger button surface, so we can actually see that the uh, scroll wheel is a little bit bigger. We can also see that this is a polished aluminum versus this anodized matte aluminum. And the new shuffle has also lost that stainless steel clip from the third generation shuffle. So hopefully it won't scratch as easily. If we look at the third generation iPod Shuffle next to the fourth generation, we can actually see that they are the same thickness. Now with the fourth generation, Apple has introduced a new button, the voiceover button, which was previously available only on the remote control. So here we are behind my iMac, and I've connected the iPod Shuffle using the USB cable. As you can see it just dangles back here. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up for the first time. I've gone ahead and connected the iPod Shuffle to an external speaker so we can hear what's going on. And I just want to play with some of the features here. So I'm just going to click play. And click skip. So as you can see it's cold play on here. You can increase volume, decrease volume. If you press pause and increase the volume, you'll hear a tone. So you can hear what the volume is. When you press the voiceover key once, Twisted Logic, Coldplay. You'll hear the song and the artist. I don't have a playlist put together, but if you press and hold the voiceover key, you'll hear the name of the playlist. All songs. In this case, it's just all songs. If you press the voiceover key twice, battery full. You'll actually get a status on the battery charge. Once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with an unboxing of Apple's new fourth generation iPod Shuffle. Thanks for watching.